Iowa State football great Brock Purdy leads 49ers over Seahawks for NFC West crown. Former Iowa State quarterback and San Francisco 49ers rookie signal caller Brock Purdy never doubted he'd take the field with a chance at winning a division title. But how long Purdy would be able to play through his oblique injury lingered all night in the mind of San Francisco coach Kyle Shanahan. We were going to see how long he'd last and we were ready to go with, back up, Josh, Johnson, Shanahan said. But he just got comfortable and got better as the game went on. It's pretty unbelievable. Purdy threw a pair of touchdown passes to George Kittle, and the 49ers won their first NFC West title since 2019, beating the Seattle Seahawks 21-13 on Thursday night. Despite using their third starting quarterback this season, the 49ers, 10-4, continue to show they might be the class of the NFC alongside Philadelphia. San Francisco won its seventh straight, using its stifling defense to frustrate Seattle into countless mistakes. The Niners got a handful of big plays from their rookie quarterback, who didn't make any throws during the limited practice time leading into the game. My mindset was I was coming into this place to play and start. That was that, Purdy said. Playing on the road for the first time in his career, Purdy connected on his first 11 pass attempts, including a 28-yard TD to Kittle in the first quarter when Purdy executed two fakes before hitting his tight end wide open. The play was called Hollywood and was flawless in its execution. Whenever Kyle dials something up that you know you're gonna get the ball, you try to speak it into existence. So you got to say touchdown and visualize it, and it was actually perfect, Kittle said. Purdy and Kittle connected again early in the second half as Seattle's defense blew a coverage and left Kittle open for a 54-yard TD and a 21-3 San Francisco lead. Purdy finished 17 of 26 for 217 yards, joining Aaron Rodgers as the only QB since at least 1950 to have a passer rating of at least 115 in each of their first two starts. Honestly my mindset was even though I haven't thrown a ball, I played four days ago, Purdy said. So I know where guys are supposed to be. I know what it's like to rip a ball on rhythm and in tight on time. Kittle had four catches for 93 yards and Christian McCaffrey rushed for 108 yards, including a one-yard TD run in the final minute of the first half following a Seattle turnover. I don't know if I have all the right words. But man, I just hate losing and gotta figure it out, Smith said. Smith was sacked three times and hit nine times. When he did have time to throw, open windows for his pass catchers were small. Seattle had one play longer than 20 yards, and wide receiver Tyler Lockett suffered a broken bone in his hand late in the game and Seattle missed taking advantage of a 49ers mistake late in the first half. Seattle scored its first offensive points in two games against the 49ers midway through the second quarter on Jason Myers' 38-yard field goal. Seattle's only points in the first matchup in Week 2 came on a blocked field goal returned for a touchdown. But the Seahawks followed with a pair of critical mistakes. Quandre Diggs dropped a potential interception that would have given Seattle the ball on San Francisco's side of the field and Travis Homer fumbled on a big hit by Dre Greenlaw at the Seattle 41 with 1.08 left in the second quarter. The fumble was returned 35 yards by Trevarius Ward, and two plays later, McCaffrey scored to give the 49ers a 14-3 lead.